Well hello everyone, welcome to this video. So in this video I'm going to show you how to create a basic navigation bar using HTML and CSS. So we will start to create this basic navigation bar. We will use the UL which stands for the unordered list and then we will add the LI which are the list items and then we will add A, the A tag, we'll use the A tag to add the links. So now I'm on Visual Studio Code and uh, this is my live previewer, so I'll just close this one in a second. Uh, but I want to create a new file, so I'm going to click on File, New. And right here, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to close the live preview now. Um, let me just uh, click on Select a Language, and I'm going to type in HTML, because this is going to be an HTML document. And right now, uh, it's HTML. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on file, save it as, I'm going to save it on desktop. So I'm going to call this one nav. And by the way, you'll be able to get the code of this navigation bar uh, from the GitHub. All right, I'll upload the code there. Feel free to use it. Um, so you'll be able to use this code. So now I'm going to click on save and I just named it nav. So I'm going to click on save now. And as you notice, I have an HTML file. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use uh, shift. I'm going to press shift number one. And it will add the exclamation mark. And then I'm going to press tab. So I'll have all of the HTML elements here. Um, so now I want to run this file with a live previewer. So I'm going to right click on it and go to live preview, show preview. So this way it's much better because we will be able to see what's going on here. So you'll we'll see it live, all right? So the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to add some text here. So right here, you'll have a header. So this will be the header, all right? So just like that. So pleasant sign, header. You open it and you close it. And inside of the header, I'm just going to add an age one. So this will be your header one, and I'm going to say welcome to my website, something like that. So my website. All right, so now we have that header there, and now we will create a basic navigation under that header. So we are going to say nav, all right, so this is the first thing that you should do. So you just type in nav, and you open it, basically, and you close it. So this is the opening of the nav element. And this represents the section of navigation. So right here, we have the nav. And inside of the nav, you'll be asked to create a UL or, you know, an unordered list. So UL, all right, so we have an unordered list. And this means that uh, you know, it will be just like bullet points. So we will say, for example, LI. So this will be a list item. And as you notice, as I add that, it will add one bullet point on my web page so I'm gonna say for example uh, home page so this will be home but instead so we don't want it to be like this so we will need to have a link inside of the list item so we'll be able to click on it all right so I'm not gonna add the word home yet so I'm gonna use another tag inside of this tag so I'm gonna use the a tag all right so the a tag is basically uh, the link or the anchor tag. So right here, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to say home. And as I do that, you'll notice that even though I use the A tag, this is not a link yet. So now we will need to use an attribute called href. So inside of the A tag, all right, so right after the letter A, I'm going to put a space there, all right, so one space there, and I'm going to say href, all right. So href equals to two quotations, just like any other, um, you know, attribute. It has the equal sign and two quotations. And right here, you'll be able to add a link. So for example, I can change it to index.html. And whenever I click on it, it will take me to the file named index.html. All right, so you see now we have uh, a link there. And right now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add a hash here. So you'll be able to add, you know, your link here. So you'll be able to add the name of your 
web page. So you'll have, for example, index.html. All right. So when you click on this one, it will take you to a document or a file called index.html. Right now, we are going to basically copy this and I'm going to press Alt, Shift and arrow down. So I'll make a copy. And as you notice, I have four links. So let me change it to five. So I have five links. And let me change this one to, let's see. So I'm going to name this one, let's see, art. All right. So I'm going to add names here. So I'm just going to name my links. And you, know, you can change this to whatever you want. So this will be art. So this will be art. And this will be the gallery. This will be music. All right. So music. And this one will be contact probably. So you can change the names of the links to whatever you want. So you see, but now if we click on them, they all will take us to this page. So you'll have to change it to, for example, r.html, uh, etc. So now if we click on this link, for example, the home, it will basically take us to index.html. And all of them will basically take us to the same page. Because right here, you see, they have the same name. So they are all index.html now. So you'll have to change these to the names of your pages, all right? Your web pages that you have. But now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add a pound sign or a hash. So let me see if I can change them. So press Ctrl H and I'm going to replace them with a hash tag, all right? So press enter and I'm going to click on replace all actually. All right. So you'll be able to add your links to the hash where you see the hash. And uh, we have a basic navigation now, but we have not styled it yet. So we'll need to style it with CSS. So you'll be able to, you know, use CSS anywhere you want. So for example, if you have an external sheet, uh, it will work. But I'm going to change the title now just to, you know, I'm just going to call it navigation. All right. So I have that here and right inside of the head, we are inside of the head tag. All right. So make sure that you're inside of the head, not the header, because the head and the header are two different things. So I am inside of the head and I'm going to use the style tag. All right. So I'll be able to basically, you know, add my CSS here, right? So I'll be able to use CSS here. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to start with, let's see, I'm going to select the nav. So I'm going to say nav, all right, basically. And I can say background color. So let me change the background color to a different color just to see what I have. So you see, this is my nav, all right. And then I'm going to go to the nav. So I'm going to use another selector. So this will be nav, then ul. So this will be the nav. All right. So we have the nav tag. And then we are selecting the unordered list inside of that. So I'm going to say nav space ul and two color braces. So the first thing that I'm going to do is, let's see. So you see there is... So let's see how, oh my God. So I have done something wrong here. So this one, so these ones, all of them should be in different list items. So I'm gonna do that now. So I'm gonna create like four or five copies of list items. And I'm gonna add my links inside of these LIs. All right, so list items. So let me just place them here. So you'll see that like they have different bullets. So each of them should have a bullet. So now they are bulleted. And uh, this means that each uh, link is inside of a list item. So that's why you see the bullet points next to all of the links. So now we want to remove those bullet points. So now we are going to say list dash style dash type none. 
So you'll notice that it will basically remove, you know, the bullet points. And we are going to say text align. So text dash align center. So it will be centered. All right. So this is optional. And now we want to basically display it next to each other. So now if you have a vertical navigation, if you want to have a vertical navigation, this is up to you. You can leave it as is. But I want to have a horizontal navigation. So I'm going to select the nav ul li. All right. So now we are selecting the nav, then the last item, and then, I'm sorry. So now we are selecting the nav, and then the ul, and then the last item. So I can say, for example, display inline block. And as I do that, you'll notice that it will basically display them uh, horizontally. So now we have um, a horizontal navigation. All right, so now we are going to select the lengths. So you see these lengths, they are blue. So we don't want to have blue lengths. So we want to have our own colors. So what, I, what we can do is uh, we can say, for example, nav, UL, all right, so we are inside of the nav. Then we opened the UL, which is the on or the list. Then the LI, which is the last item. Now we are going to say the A. So the A means select the anchors or the links. So the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to change the color. So color, let me change it to brown. So you will notice that I have added my own color there. And uh, now I have added my custom color to it. So now what I can do is that I can add, let's see what I can do. I can remove the link under it. You see there is uh, a line under it. So we don't want that. So we all can say text decoration none. And that will go away. However, it's a good idea to add a border. So I can say border, let's see, if, so border dash uh, bottom. Let's see if I can uh, change it to cornflower blue. So, oops, what did I do? So, so it has to be two pixels, I'm sorry. So two pixel, solid, all right, solid, and then cornflower. So you see that it has been added. So that line has been added there. And uh, now what I can do is, let's see what I can do. So maybe when we hover, you know, when we hover over the lengths, nothing happens. So you see it's dull, you know, it's, there is no, it's not dynamic yet. So we want to make it more dynamic. So when I hover it, I want it to change the color or, you know, just do something. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to still say nav ul li then the a. So now we have exactly the same thing, but now I'm going to say hover. So colon hover. All right. So now I have my curly braces open and now right here I can say, for example, when I hover it, I want to change the color of the you know, you see the color underneath all of them. So I can say border bottom, two pixels solid. And instead of saying this color, so instead of saying cornflower blue, I can change it to crimson. So now if I hover it, you see it changes to crimson. So that's really nice. And if you want, you'll be able to, uh, you know, also change the color of uh, you know, the text. So I can say, for example, color. Let's see, let's make a cornflower blue. So now as I hover it, you see how it changes the color and it's really nice. So when you hover it, you see now it's more dynamic and people will be able to, you know, people will like it more. So now what we can do is, let's see, so we can say, for example, if it's a visit link, I want it to have a different uh, color. So I can say uh, nav 
again so nav U L L I A but this one will be visited alright so if it's a visited link I want the color to be red so the color I want it to be red so now if I click on this one uh, it's not gonna show me here but if I maybe if I view it on a web browser let's see if I can uh, run it on a web browser so let me just open it with Chrome so let me close it just one second so there you go okay what happened it's not working for some reason so let me just manually open it so you see I have it here so if I click on it you see it becomes red and you see they all become red because they all have the same hash so so you see if I click on it they're all red now because they all have the same link which is this hash so where's my hash right here so you see they all have the hash so this one hash they're all the same that's why they all became red okay so I think this is it for now and uh, right now we have built this basic navigation uh, using the HTML unordered list and we have used some CSS to style it and also right here you will be able to simply uh, you know let me just format this code so I'm gonna select all so press ctrl A then alt shift F and it will automatically format it all right so now it's formatted it looks much better um, so right here for example I have the li so let me just uh, move it up here so let me just make it look nicer all right so you see right here I have the li and I have the href which is a hash so I'll be able you'll be able to basically change it to index.html and you know this will take you to the index.html file and you can change this one to art for example art.html and this will take you to art.html and if you want to go to an external website you'll have to type in https colon forward slash forward slash www dot for example google.com all right so google.com and this will basically take you to google all right so if you want to go to an external website you will have to you know add the https colon and all of the address all right so i think this is it for this video and if you have any questions you can let me know in the comments below so i hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, alright? So if you have any questions, just leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, alright? So I'll see you all later. I'm out everyone. Bye-bye.